Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, we're going to see how we can work or start working with the language CFC. So let's go to the presentation. So the CFC language stands for Continuous Functional Chart, and compared with Ladder, uh, this one is more similar to the uh, function block uh, language, okay, uh, FBD, function block diagram, um, but allows you to organize in a different way. Instead of using, for example, ranks to organize the code, you can freely put your code, this graphic code, in your, your program, okay, and then you can specify the sequence. So if we continue with the presentation here, this is the this is taken from the online help of the machine expert, which is basically the definition of this uh, continuous function chart. Um, we're going to proceed. You can find it on the online help, okay? But basically, it's um, compared with the text, you can work here with graphics with the function block graphic, and then you can connect all the variables and function blocks each other, okay? So we're gonna see that later. So. As I tell you before, it is to, uh, to get ready how to use this. So, if we want to check this, okay, we have in the options, just put the pen, we have in the options in the software, we have the possibility to define the CFC editor, okay, and here you can have more information. So, if we go to the software, this is from the previous, going to delete this. So, tools, options. The first option that we have is actually the CFC editor. So, here you can specify the auto connect. So, when you drop a new variable, it just connect between them. Okay, we're going to see this. Then you have the option to see the grid and everything. So, to be able to, for you to identify. So, in order to create a CFC chart or CFC language uh, POU, we just need to go to application three, define the applications, add objects, POU. Okay, and you just go over here to wait for this green icon, POU, to find the name for the POU, POU training underscore CFC. Here you need to find the type, you want to find program, and here the language. There's something important here. We have CFC and CFC page oriented. I'm going to start with this one first. And here you have. So this is the area that you have the possibility to use your code. In the right part, you have the toolbox. If you are not able to see the toolbox view, then you have da, 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 over here, somewhat catalog toolbox. You can drag and drop the elements, okay? And if you move over here to just really connect them okay so that's the advantage okay and if you go to tools options cfc view show this you have the possibility to use this to easily accommodate the program based on your needs so if we continue with this how we're displaying this and something important that you need to know is that when you create the POU as CFC okay the logo or the icon that you have for the POU is changed okay you here and here you have the comparison with the different functions that we have uh different POU that we have okay language that we have so we continue with this part now it's time to explain what is the page oriented and the non-oriented page oriented so i already specified this one which is the non-oriented the standard one the normal one so if we open again this okay we're going to create another PU. PU. i'm going to call it PU cfc page and specify page oriented so here is the same as the other one you have this is the code but 
is similar or I found it similar to for example the Celio smart relay that you have for function block so basically I know say this is similar so here you have the function block for example our and okay you can see here the icon if you have selected the icon otherwise if you go optimize to, to, to view show box icon it disappear okay and one advantage of here to just to organize is to use this as an input okay so you specify the inputs and then also the outputs you can be over here or in here so you can find here uh, x bar 01 you have the auto declaration also I'm going to specify a boolean x bar 02 bool and x bar 03 bool okay you can define everything over here and then you just need to connect so you on one side to the other one side to the other and then you can organize over here Okay, so this allows you to easily identify or organize the data. Okay, you can also do this over here and then just drag, drop, and organize. But this one is good just to have um, to organize more the data and easily see what is in there. Okay, just that is the advantage. So as we continue with the presentation just show you what you can do the software later we're gonna focus in all the details that we have for different function blocks then i have already specified this part in the toolbox you have all these elements over here okay we're gonna focus details um probably this one we're gonna focus when we are talking about the different function blocks okay and this one the jump and label probably gonna call that in the different uh video but let's proceed so if it's a drag and drop here to just it define input variables and output variables for the function blocks that you have and then the box that it can be used for any function that you have okay as i shall show you before this one is very good the move okay to just go over here and select uh, move i'll just show you again you can drag and drop here the box and here in the question mark you can if you know the function block name just select move otherwise you can go over here to the square select and you can find all the function for example conversion to real you have it over over here and that's all that just has need an input and output simple as that so let's continue with this ones okay so the jump and label this is how it works so uh, once you drag this element into the software okay this is the visualization okay and what you need from the label is where to go okay you just need to specify the same name you can see over here jump 01 jump 01 is over here if the if this condition is true as you can see here it's true instead of executing this code over here you just go to this okay and if this condition is not true it means that it will continue with all the code that we have below pay attention if we go back a little bit here you can see that inside the function blocks and output you have a number this is the execution of the code so pay attention to that i believe i have added this in this presentation so we can focus on this so this the jump you can see here the no jump but you can see how it comes and you have the same value because if there is no jump and here it just started with one before and it just keep increasing then we have the composer and selector the idea of this is if you have uh for example an structure already defined what you need to do for the composer is to it's like a 
see all the elements of the structure so you can easily put something over here in case you want to configure and then put those together into the structure that you have okay that is basically the idea and then you have it the other way around because this one the composer will compose or gather all the elements and put it on the structure and then you have the selector that basically take the data from the structure you have and then separate in the different elements in case you want to put the different variables okay so that's basically the idea then well the comment is just a comment let me just quickly show you over here let's go here toolbox comment here enter the comment and if you need a new line just press ctrl enter okay so continue with this we have the connection mark and source that we this one is very useful when um when you are trying to put all together all the function blocks that you don't have space this is one way to sort that out uh, to be a little bit more tidy in the code because you can define the output for one value that you have and then use the same label and connect to another position as i show you here so based on this we have the connection mark source and connection mark sync i believe there is another software similar uh it's not for schneider but uh it has something similar so um here in this connection mark i assign this name okay so every time i use this name in another in another uh, part of the puu okay i can use that result and use it in a different part of the code so you can organize much better the data otherwise what you need to do is to link this to this and if you have more stuff over here it's going to be a little bit complicated to follow all what you have similar to this so if you don't use that okay the other step the normal step will be this and if you have something in the middle it's going to be a little bit of a nightmare okay so let me just let's just show you something else here I never use it but it's gonna be good for you to have it in case you want it you can define depending on the variable that you work different line codes so if we go here options uh, let me see here edit line colors if you select this you can add a type for example boolean and it's going to specify the color to do this kind of blue okay add variable for example real you can specify this color green okay apply As you can see here the boolean variables have the line blue if i Uh, another variable for example i'm going to link this and it's defined over here now put uh bar real real it should be the color green okay so in this way you can identify your code while you are programming so i believe it's good if this one is just to have a track in order to identify which variable it is okay that's all so let's continue with this part so here you can pay attention that we have this uh, number over here which is the um, how the code would be executed so if you start dragging this output over here Okay, you can see that I'm, in this case, I have the execution of this block and the win assigned to this variable and this one, this one. But if I use this, it doesn't change, okay, the execution of the block. So in order to change that, what you can do is to right click here in the execution order, order by data flow, and it automatically change. Or you can go to the function or output 
and then execution order and then set execution order and that it will allow you to select the number that you want so for example three and that's it okay so this is one way in the newer version of the software okay we have another view let me just change properties this one you have the execution order so you have to specify by auto data flow mode or the specific execution order so auto data flow okay will hmm, let me just double check this one our data flow it will depend on how it's organized so it will start from the top to the bottom the execution so if i select this this number is going to be deleted okay as you can see so the execution will be this one first it will assign the value this one next and they will assign the value if you don't want to use this view you can change it properties execution explicit order so you can find manually for all of them okay and there you have it okay so this is just to have a rough idea of how to work or how to be prepared to work with the cfc language okay and it's up to you if you want to use uh, the page oriented or the non-page oriented variable uh, view okay so this is it for all the um, CFC language you have seen how to get prepared how to get the different tools that we have for the toolbox and also how we can change the lines and how to be ready to start working with this uh, language so this is it for the moment thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one